right now. It's uh, time for us to have fun with you. It's mm. time for the secret sound game. All right, so we have a sound that has been created by our producer Jody, mm-hmm. and uh, we want to see whether or not you can actually uh, get the correct answer. I don't know what it is. Yeah, we all are struggling with it. <laughs> so DJ Audley, play the sound. Let's hear it. That is the sound that we ask you to identify. Mm -hmm. It's a new sound. It's only been around since yesterday. And we ask you to call us on 876-676-4996. The other number? You remember, you don't have to spend a dime when you call on WhatsApp. So that's 876-551-5782. Give us a call if you can identify this sound, ladies and gentlemen. Bridge Nation, listen. What sound is that? Mm-hmm. Telephone numbers are flashing. Let's get to it. Good morning, Collie. You're on the air. Hello. Morning. Good morning, sir. Yeah, Delroy. Welcome, <laughs> Delroy. Yeah. You know, I could have won the first one, you know. Nah, really? tell you, man. <laughs> yeah, man. If I did just say plastic rubbing against iron. See that. <laughs> Remember the man when I say, um... Sandpaper. Sandpaper. Yes, yes. Nah, tell you, man. Yeah. Remember, man. Yeah, yeah, man. I just have a change the name. Change See? the thing. Right. See that. Well, well, this man is iron rubbing against iron. <laughs> yeah, I like it. <laughs> iron rubbing against iron, creating the sound Damn that you're that. hearing. Damn that trick, that right again. Cavell no. has brought in the gift package. Mm-hmm. Still look bossy. Yeah. Delroy is going for it. Has he done enough? Delroy, let's Hello. get the verdict. <gasps> Work a little harder, Delroy. Thank you for trying, all right? Thank you for trying. Mm -hmm. Let's play the sound again, DJ Audley, so persons can hear it. It's new. That is the secret sound. That is it. Iron rubbing against iron did not make it. Uh-uh, that, that's all I know. Iron. Uh-uh. Nah, I have one guess, you know. And if somebody said I don't know it, man, I go strike. I go <laughs> 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 protest, Jody. I go like, too hard. A big thank you to uh, Massive Distribution, Massive distribution for yeah. providing that, uh, gift, that package. gift package. All right, so somebody's calling us on uh, uh, the WhatsApp, WhatsApp number 876 551 5782. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to find out. If uh, if that is if they come with the correct answer, mm-hmm. let's get to it. Good morning, caller. You're on the air. Hello. Hello, morning. Hello. Good morning, sir. We're hearing you now. How are you? I'm doing good. You? Not too bad at all. Who's calling? Uh, Earl is calling. Earl, run the world. All right, Earl. Yes. Let's see what you come with all this right. morning, Earl. What's your answer? All right. So, um, I think it is a knife um, scraping scraping the um, the burn the burn of, of like a breadfruit. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. I was going to go toast, but that's not bad. That's not bad. Knife scraping, he says, the burn this- of a roasted breadfruit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That is such a Jamaican answer. I love it. No. Mm-hmm. Verdict. You know. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> In as much as we'd all enjoy yeah, some I of love, that. I love <laughs> the Jamaicanness behind that answer. Isn't In it? as much as we'd all enjoy some of that roasted breadfruit yeah, right man. now. Uh uh-uh. uh. That, that didn't do it. Mm. The sound again. I hear one sound nah, initially, Earl. and then it kind of changes into something else. Nah, Earl. Nah, that one there, no breadfruit, Earl. Sounds mm-hmm. like it's like a, almost like a I combination. Know I know what it is. Like a combination of two sounds. Yeah. Or moving from one stage to another stage, something right. like that. Frequency and I something. don't know. It's nobody in the summer, I guess, yet still. So, <laughs> man, all right, I feel like I can't win. <laughs> 
So, Bridge Nation, is this one sounding like it's going to be difficult? Mm-hmm. I hope we don't get to the stage where we have to retire this this uh, sound. <laughs> um, from all indications, based on Joda's reaction, mm-hmm. it looks like it's it's not it's not not supposed to be that difficult. That's what she said the last time. That's what every time. <laughs> you see me. So. What's the sound? Let's hear it. Sorry, we're out of time. Uh Uh-oh. So, uh, yesterday, a plan by bus and taxi operators to withdraw their services Mm -hmm. island-wide to force the government to grant a traffic ticket amnesty. Uh, Some would say it failed to gain unanimous support, uh, with many drivers and conductors turning out uh, for work as usual. But some of uh, who refused to fall in line with their protesting colleagues found themselves victims of verbal and physical abuse in some areas while scores of commuters were left stranded. We note that the president of the Spanish Town Taxi Association, Mr. Aaron Mattis, had actually made a statement sometime recently where he said that we have previously benefited from amnesty, but the laws have now changed. Therefore, we think it is only fair that the members need time to pay for these tickets. Uh, A quote from Mr. Aaron Mattis, who, by the way, is our guest at this time. Good morning, Mr. Mattis, and welcome to uh, The Bridge 99 FM. How are you today? Giving thanks, which we am here. Giving thanks. All right. I also have with me Shells, my my co-presenter. Give thanks. Greetings, okay. Mr. Mattis. Greetings, Mr. Mattis. Yes, are you and yes. your members out demonstrating today? And were you out yesterday doing likewise? I, as I said, which be I am not for the strike. The think the, the the operators went on the strike, but I am not for the strike. While I am, I really want them to get the the the, the amnesty in terms of the time to pay the tickets. I am not really for the strike. I am in the street this morning, and there is only a few cars out. Most of the operators are still which have withdrawn their services and are still at home or parking somewhere, but they have are still withdrawn their services. Now, uh, when you say you're not for the strike, uh, break that down for us so we can understand more clearly. Well, I, I, I think when you are negotiating with, Someone, you don't put the cat before the heart in terms of going for a strike. You negotiate, and, and I always feel like the last resort is strike. You must have explored all areas first, and then the last resort is strike. That, that's why I say I am not really for the strike. While I want them to get the amnesty to pay the tickets, I'm not for the strike. So it sounds to me like uh, some negotiations are underway between yourself and would it be uh, the the, the Ministry of Transport? Uh, We have been talking to the Transport Authority, taking audience to get the amnesty out, which talks are still in in, in progress. But uh, I I want to take this medium to tell the government that the Spanish on Texas Association is not for this strike. This strike was organized by other persons. Mm -hmm. But... I want him to let good sense prevail, because if we are going to start the, the, the December, first of December, locking up the operators for outstanding tickets, then we are going to have more chaos in the country. If you give them a chance to get themselves regularized, since the laws have now been changed, because I say, Richie B, if, they, if the, laws, the laws were there, but they, they had teeth in terms of application of the law or enforcement of the law, one man could not have had, had so much ticket outstanding. Mm-hmm. So since now there's more tea to the law, I am saying to the government of Jamaica, allow the operators now to get a chance to clear themselves of the tickets they had before. And then if after this amnesty has, uh, has been given and a man is now found with a ticket that is outstanding, what it means is that he really don't want to get himself regularized. Now, uh, what are you taking to, to that negotiating table then? Are you saying you're asking for, I hear talk of uh, two months, four months, six months? W- what, what are you taking on behalf of your members? I'm saying I don't want an indefinite one. Give us three months. Three months. Three to four months, if it's possible, and then allow them to just go dig deep. I know times are tough, and then they see if they can get their, 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 their affairs in order. How big a problem is it? I mean, do you have members who have tickets like over 100, 150 or more tickets, or is it much lower numbers? 
a, a set of persons, you find the taxi operators, they would have a hundred tickets. Some will do, but majority would have below, like, say, 40, 50. But I am saying, regardless of what they have, I am not saying that the law should be broken. But I am saying in moving forward for a, a, a community that we, a, a country that we want to be free from the lawlessness, allow them to clear the tickets and then we can move on from this. Understood. Now, Mr. Mattis, are you still hopeful even after, you know, the Prime Minister's comments yesterday? I am still hopeful because I, I, I want good sense to prevail with the government and the minister, understanding that we have thousands of operators on the road. And if you allow police to go in 1st of December charging the operators for outstanding tickets, we are going to have chaos in the country. So is it that we want a country that we, 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 we know foster chaos or we want moving forward to have the operators try to regularize themselves and then in moving forward we see how best we can have them now adhere to the laws of the land. How, how big a problem is it within your membership uh, where persons would have paid tickets but those tickets were not cleared off the system? Do you have members who have that problem? Which we, I have that problem. Really? Wow. Yes, leave the members. I have that problem. I have paid ticket and they still come back. And you, you obviously... I had to go to the court office in Spanish Town and have them start it out with the receipt. I have that problem. The system is, isn't perfect. And mm -hmm. the government know that the system has glitches and it's still not perfect. So so, so, so how, how will you clear th that matter, though? I mean, wh wh what are the channels that you will use to the benefit of others listening? The, 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 in terms of the clearing of the tickets yeah, that were paid. Yes, that were paid, yes. I would, have, I would tell them, go to the, check your receipts and go to the, the court office in Spanish Town or where you went to the court and produce the tickets. And what they would do is they would take it off the system with the, with the, with the, with the, with the, with the receipt, producing of the receipt, because that's what I did, to mm -hmm. have mine clear off the system. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, but the ones that are, are not paid, I am saying and I am pleading to the government, I am not forcing them in any corner to give us uh, some time to get the ticket sorted out so as to have the, the thing regularized properly. We see the Prime Minister talking tough. The message that came out yesterday is a reminder that uh, all tickets that are outstanding should mm -hmm. be paid. Yeah. He, he does, I agree with him. I agree with him, Richie. You agree with him? Yes. But you're still asking for uh, some reprieve in terms of... Yes, and, and, and what, what it does is that it's not that I am saying that they are not supposed to pay, but when you give the amnesty, it's not that they won't pay, but it gives them an opportunity to come in freely and pay and also give them an opportunity that they, they would lose the license in the amnesty. Yeah. But they would pay what is required to pay for the outstanding ticket. I don't know if my figures are correct, but if my information is correct, um, the last time you had an amnesty, I think, was 2017. Yes, uh, and and uh, I, I think I, I read where you collected, uh, where the government collected over $800 million. Uh, so... Um, the, the, <laughs> there is a point that you're making that that uh, I think is is worthy yeah, of some kind of, of consideration. Um, That's what I but but the, the the problem that we're having, uh, you know, uh, we sit here and we see the images of uh, fires burning uh, on roadways, oh, guilty, guilty. Uh, people being hauled out of vehicles um, in Maypen. They had about uh, looks like a, a crowd of about fifteen thousand people just having a, a whale of a time in the square. The the the, the mayor the mayor was 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 blocked in and was being told to get out of his vehicle and address the crowd. Those those things do not help the cause of the taxi operators, do they? Yes. They, they really don't. I, 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 I miss your point a while ago, because no, Because of the noise. What, yes, what, what, we're, saying, what we're saying is uh, when, when things get to the point where uh, you know, um, you know, violence now starts erupting. Mm -hmm. People are being hauled out of their taxes. Yes. Then, then, then it looks like mayhem. And and I think the t the operators who are doing that are making it bad for themselves and for others. Don't yeah. you agree? I agree. I agree. And in, that's why I say I I am not for the strike because there are persons whenever you strike with ulterior motives. Mm -hmm. What if, there's a strike, there's always persons with ulterior motives. What, what, what will happen uh, as far as your membership is concerned if, if uh, the, the, you call it an amnesty, if it is not granted? Then what? Uh, I realize that they are adamant that they are not going back to work. They, 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 this morning, there's no violence on the street. There's no blocking of the, of the thoroughfare, but there's still no movements of the operators. 
Mm. So there, there are the men that they won't go back until the government meets them partway. Mm -hmm. But I am saying to them, go back, let us negotiate, and see if we can get the government on the page that we are on. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm imploring them to go back, and not all the communities are at ransom, mm -hmm. and allow us now to go back to the negotiating table with the government and see what can come from that. How, how large a membership do you have? Almost a thousand. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Um, in all of what happened yesterday, did you receive a call from uh, any government representative, um, you know, indicating that a, a meeting will be held with you soon? No, nothing from anyone in, in authority. I am saying it cannot be a, a hard and fast approach for the government. So if we, if we are saying that, and I have heard the taxi operators say that government giving amnesty to, 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 gun, hmm. upper, to gunmen, so they want an amnesty. But I am saying we don't want the lawlessness in this transport sector to continue. Mm -hmm. And whatever the government is implementing, I am for it. All right. I am just saying giving them, give them a chance to clear what they have. Since now there's more teeth to the law, and then let us now move forward in transforming the sector. Because yeah. you cannot, if we are going to push this forward, we are going to have maybe about half of the sector in chaos. Yeah. Uh, uh, are you of the strong view that um, if given three months, though, that um, they will, in fact, uh, be cl those tickets will be cleared in that time frame? I, I, not all, in all honesty, but most. Mm -hmm. That's why I am saying, you see, Richard, because there's no teeth to the law as we speak now, because mm -hmm. then when the amnesty came, there was no, nothing in place to say you could not renew your driver's license without paying your ticket. Mm -hmm. So some take it for granted that they're, they, don't, they won't do it. Mm -hmm. Now there's more teeth to the law where it means that a man understands that if you don't take this opportunity to clear your tickets, you will not have a driver's license. They will take it up. Okay. They will take it up. Mm -hmm. so, so the Prime Minister speaks at uh, about 8.30 this morning. He's listening to us right now. What do you want right. to say to him? I am asking him to let good sense prevail, Mr. Prime Minister, Sir Andrew Olness, and allow us to get some time to clear what they have and then we can enforce the law and you can enforce the law as you see fit in moving forward. But because I said there wasn't enough teeth in the law for enforcement. Now that it is there, allow us to just get to a point where we clear the tickets we have and you can enforce and you can implement what you have to do there. Aaron Mattis, president of the Spanish Town Taxi Association. Thank you for speaking with us this morning. All, all the best. Thanks, Richie. Thanks. All the best. All right. <laughs> okay. So, um... That is the view of Mr. Mattis. Good points. Yeah. Good points. In all honesty. Now I'm going to fight that. Um, I, I, I just, I can't help but feel like, you know, it's to the point where he, the point where he said, um, you know, the, he's encouraging operators to go back to work on, until we negotiate. I don't feel like that will go over well with most of the operators. I feel like, you know, they must say, oh, what are the chances of me I still go work and yeah, police pull me over? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah, it's it tough right now. But what I will say though, Richie, the answer to lawlessness can't be more lawlessness. You get what I'm saying? Like, you can't, you can't do that. You understand what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. I, so I guess, as you, as you rightfully said, if you do want the prime minister to budge, oh, if the man has to say, oh, Pitney almost get run over by, by in the street and all women get drawn out of taxi. You think that I'm going to make the Prime Minister mm -hmm. butch a joke? No. I mean, uh, <laughs> and this is why the statement yesterday yeah, was, was very strong and yeah, very because firm. Because the man has said lawlessness, the man has said innocent yeah, people. No, that can't work. Right? So um, so th those operators who behave like that and people like uh, the young man there, uh, what's name? Ramon Silvera. <laughs> Ramon is all over the media right now. Sorry, officer. <laughs> I just want to go viral. He, 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 <laughs> and he has. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but but um, the, the, the point about um, the precedence, yeah. which was set in 2017, yeah. when, when, the, when the amnesty was granted <laughs> and the amount of money that the government was able to take into its hey. coffers, I, I think that um, that it, it should be something yeah. that should be borne in mind mm -hmm. by the authorities yeah. in coming in arriving at a decision. Yeah, because uh, if you had that level of 
of su call it success in terms yeah. of the amount of money that you were able to collect, yeah. um, then it should be borne in mind and, uh, and factored into the equation Richie, uh, with whatever decision you're making right now. Because, Richie, they might treat the, the, the amnesty or the tax money they ask for. They might treat it like the gun amnesty, like them feel like nothing I got. <laughs> so, so, when you say so, so, so the gun amnesty kind of shaky right now, you understand me? But I strongly believe that if you give the taxi operators a little time there, Money might get Gigi. Yeah. I say, you're all right. Cool, cool. Yeah. Let's, let's pay all I, I, I mean, uh, we said nothing about the fact that uh, elections are not too far away. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Oh, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, Bridge Nation, you know, it's all about Fresh Face Tuesday. You know, our next guest is blessed with an impressive, impressive method about writing skills and strong lyrical capability. Positive work ethic and intelligence are similar to that of an ant. Interesting. I'm talking about Jazai Lee. He's a talented reggae artist whose versatility easily transcends into his music. His often unique delivery and flow has brought a unique and refreshing taste to the reggae scene, which has placed him among the top lyricists in the music industry. Rich Moeno said the man started him journey from 10 years old. Mm. You know me, I do at 10 years old. Not what Jazzy did, I do that, man. Tell you. You understand what I said? But it's an honor. Welcome, welcome. Jazzy Lee. How are you doing, family? Yes, sir. I'm Morning, I'm Jazzy. Give thanks. Good morning. And it's a pleasure to be on the show. You don't know. Them say second time is the charm. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah this is the second time around. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, thanks, man. man. Welcome, welcome. Yes, sir. Um, we're having an interesting discussion uh, off the air. And uh, one of the things that Jazzy pointed out is the <laughs> fact that. Um, as an artist who's, uh, you know, giving us cultural and positive lyrics, mm -hmm. sometimes it's not as easy to get that breakthrough. Mm -hmm. But but you've managed to circumvent that, <laughs> it, it would seem. Yes, in a way, because you have to find a way to put it so it appeals to the great, the wider mass, for be honest. Cause, I mean, I reggae, you know, but, you know, you want to dance all people, them guitar listen to, so we try to, you know, mix, mix and match and make it work. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. So, so it is possible just like if you put positivity in a dance hall. Cause we see how the climate stay right now, dance hall. It's like everybody, it's like it have a bad name right now, a bad rep. But it is possible for put is. positivity in a dance it hall. It is. Once the artists them want the positivity in the music, it's not hard, you know. All them have to do is just invest the time in the craft, you know what I mean? Straight. Put more. Put more messages where people can learn from mm -hmm. in the music. Yeah. Respect. Yes, sir. And, and there are artists who are doing it and doing yeah, it well. Yeah, man, not, I mean, definitely. You know yeah. what I mean? Man like Kranix, Kabaka, Pyramid, because right. we just listen to him song, them. Mm -hmm. Proto J, Leela, IQ. Even you know. more recently, people like Yaksta and so yeah, on. Yaksta, yeah, Yaksta, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Nation boss. You right, know, people right. were still away of the flag, yeah. So there is yes, space sir. for that kind of energy in the, in the industry. Uh, you, you come from a good musical stock, <laughs> so, <laughs> some would say. Yeah. T tell us about your background. Yeah, so them say it hereditary. I was born in Spanish Town, St. Catherine. I grew up in Watos. My father is initially from Watos, Robert Lee. And of course, you know, seeing him in action, it kind of inspired me at a young age. Also, there was a sound system in the family as well. So, you know, whenever I have a choice, when them go out for string up for keep certain events, we, the younger ones, they and because them know my father artists, mm -hmm. them always give me the microphone and say, go and test the thing, them, you know. Mm -hmm. We well, listen to Wayne Wonder, them, and, you know, at the time, he was my favorite artist, him and Mr. Vegas, you know yeah. what I mean? So at them time, they, we are sing out for them songs as little youths, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But Respect. coming up in the thing, we start right with own music, and Mr. said, fit me, so. <laughs> so, so, so if yeah. they said then, so if they said then that, you know, your decision to pursue music, you never get no fight from family, you know, it was just always supported? No, well, <laughs> you don't know mommy. <laughs> you know the mothers. <laughs> Yeah, mommy not going to make it that easy because mm. school is the main focus at For the real. time. You know what I mean? And even after school, she always rivet it in her head, say, you watch her down, sit down and be a cruff, you know, work until the music come true. So prior to this, I was a supervisor at Sutherland Global ah, Services in mm. UA. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? And resigning in 2018 and pick it up fully. Full right? time, full yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. You mentioned people like uh, Wayne Wonder and Mr. Vegas who have mm -hmm. uh, influenced you got coming up. Um, have they influenced your style and, and, and do you, because they, they, they sing and they also um, can DJ. Yeah. And, and some people call like a Vegas a, a sing J. Sing J. Wh which category do you put yourself in? Straight right. up as a singer, uh, a, a, a sing J, a <laughs> DJ? <laughs> I'm an all-rounder, to be yeah. honest. I'm going to try to even rap too. You know ah. what I mean? Because music is not, not really limited to one genre. Mm -hmm. If you really love it and you're obsessed with it, you're going to try to understand other forms. But all right, in terms of Mr. Vegas and We Any Wonder, they were the leading artists, or some of the leading artists in the 90s. So 
I never have a choice but for know the lyrics, but mm-hmm. who inspired me for really be a musician or for pick up Rasta music or reggae or Bob. Okay. I was employed to Tough Gang International you know, back in mm. 2012, 13, mm. 14. You know what I mean? Mm. So, being around the Marley family, hearing Bob Marley music, and mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Because I was a tour guide, I was the administrative clerk, and I was the personal assistant for the general manager at the time, which was Mrs. Marie Bruce. Same, you same. know what I mean? Plus, we print vinyl and yeah. all that, you know, <laughs> yeah. as an intern at the time, so you don't know. Yeah, it kind of really affirms. Say, yeah, man, I reggae the thing. But prior to that, you mean, man, we're young mm-hmm. and hot-blooded. We are right, the hot music. <laughs> them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But, yeah, yeah. it helped me firm up the faith and know, say, yeah, man, you do something, you are responsible for any message you put out there. Because you have some fans who really believe in your thing and we do what you say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, see me, so. no, no, no wonder one of your songs, I think the one you're pushing <laughs> now, is called Can't yeah. Tell Me How to Live. live. <laughs> Naturally. <yeah. laughs> T- tell us some more about that. All right, well, Can't Tell Me How to Live is really self-explanatory. If, if you be real honest, if you look into the title, Can't Tell Me How to Live, really, you know, nobody tell you how to live. You have people who wake up, instead of them focus on feed them 24 hours. You know what I mean? Mm. They have a way of fashion where you say, yeah, man, you could have do this the way, yeah, or you can try it the way, when in, in fact, a dear way, you try it not your own. Mm-hmm. Plus, you don't know a lot of other fights, you know what I mean? Do, do you so, don't go, you so, don't do that type of music, you don't link with them type of people, yeah, so. That's how that song came about, you know? Mm-hmm. Can't tell you how to live. We're going to get a chance to, uh, to hear it uh, mm-hmm. for the first time in a short while from now. Um, yes, I. Um wh- Where are you on social media? How can uh, people reach you? All right. Across all platforms, it's at J A H Z I L E E. YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, or the hashtag original road. <laughs> yeah, man. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give you a chance right now to introduce that very same single. I think DJ Audley has it. Can't tell me how to live. So here's the intro from the man who did it himself. Take it away. Bridge FM, them can't tell me how to live. Me looking at myself energy with me honest and a regular much chat to judge upon it cardless. Them can't charge the dot. That they were one press never girl in a short dress could have met not it hard straight. No them would have love for see me drop me guard, yes, for them pop it off, press a year, say not it drop flesh. That's why when me a roll me have my tinted glasses, but the bad man wagon. Never mark X Instagram grudge me for my life. They say <laughs> <laughs> you know? Here's the song, ladies and gentlemen. He was our very special guest, Jazai Lee. Follow him on social media and uh, enjoy his music. One for the future. And it's now time for us to make that connection. The Canadian connection happens right now. Bridge 99 FM out of Jamaica and Flow 987 out of Toronto, Canada. Good morning, yeah. Red, and good morning, Ritz. Season's greetings. Hey. hey morning. Well, Season's greetings. Season's greetings. Sorry, my mind, I, I talked about doing this uh, construction thing in my house, and now everybody's text messaging and showing me quotes and looks and I'm like wait a minute so <laughs> let me focus on some work <laughs> Richie, I missed you I miss you so much I know we've been meaning to talk and we both been so busy yeah you know? that's how it is we're hard yeah. work we're hard-working people but I miss you. I miss your bad, 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 bad. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> uh, you know what? What's crazy, I've had a few people call me the hotel that I was staying at, that uh-huh. we were staying at Ritz, mm-hmm. and one of my cousins, she booked, a couple of people booked, and they're like, we want that swim-up pool. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, Red had the best room At possible. the Ocean Eden. Yeah, yeah so big shout-outs to everybody headed to Jamaica. I'm jealous. <laughs> ah, I, I suspect many people are coming down for the, for yeah. the, for the Christmas Yuletide. A lot so, of so, so, so we apologized last week because we weren't able to make that connection. But uh, we have been reminding our right. listeners that we are doing it eight. Uh, what's it? Eight forty-five yeah. going forward for the rest of this season, right? So yeah, every right. every Tuesday mm-hmm. at eight forty-five a.m., not seven forty-five, is no. when we'll make this connection with uh, with Toronto. Um, is it nice and cool up there? I understand it's getting a little chilly. We're going to snow today. Yeah, today's the first day we're going to have a uh, snowfall. So Ooh. you're expecting some snow. Um, for those listening, get your snow tires. Mm. Um, and, yeah. Yeah, you it's going hear, downhill. Really. You can hear the joy. <laughs> no, it's no good. <laughs> you can hear the joy in our in our voices. I'm, I'm going to Barbados in a few weeks. Oh, that's it. I'm out. So, oh. <laughs> yeah, I can't deal. Well, you'll I'll be get, sitting here in the snow. You'll get some mm. of the Caribbean sunshine at that time. Mm. Yes, yes. Well, it'll be good. Maybe you guys should come meet me. Shows? There you go. <laughs> All right. 
Head over to Barbados, Charles. I've never been, so yeah, why not? <laughs> I like You've never it. been. What about you, Richie? You've been. I've been to Barbados, I think, uh, once actually. Oh wow! Really? Uh, I did a show. Like I did a, a show at the Sir Garfield yeah, he... Sobers uh, Gymnasium. Oh wow! Years ago, yeah, man. No. Yeah, that's what we all go there for. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about the beaches. Don't worry about the beaches, but those no. gymnasiums. Those gymnasiums. Those are unbelievable. Yeah, Woo! that gymnasium. <laughs> oh, that was the best gymnasium I could ever see. <laughs> wow, I look funny gymnasium. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh wow. Yeah, uh, boy. Well, listen. <laughs> It's, it's always a good vibe, and we've got a lot of music to play, a lot of stuff to get through. News comes up on top of the hour at 9 o'clock our time. Uh, are we on the yeah. same time, by the way? Well, I don't know, Richie. Let's it's eight, <laughs> yeah, we are on the same time. Yeah, so it's 8.52. It's 8.52. Yeah, right, right. So news comes up on top of the hour, and uh, right now I think Ritz is going to start off with the music out of Toronto, <laughs> Canada. <laughs> yes, he just uh, he just laid down a soca set. Oh, yeah? So now we're going to go back. What? 90s Ritz? Yeah, yeah Red's, red's uh, over over the uh, soca, so okay, we got to go arm. Don't talk. Just listen. <laughs> Oh, big shout out to my boy Evan. He's in Kingston, and he's like, I heard you on on uh, the radio. He's like, what? Toronto to the world. Oh, <laughs> big up Evan. So, big up Evan. Yeah, Man, big up that, shout out to that, Evan. That that minus one degree st- uh, stuck with me. Mm-hmm. But 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 oh, Rich, really? Rich, you guys don't sound <laughs> depressed, and that's a good thing. <laughs> well, minus one is better than minus twenty-one. Feeling like minus forty. Wait for Richie. Oh, it gets gosh. there. What? This it's is gonna a get worse. Radio voice. It's so funny <laughs> when I hear people say, I don't understand how my parents decide decided to come here and start their life. Like, why didn't they go to Miami? I used to ask my mom the same thing. Like, why did you? Yeah. Why? Why? But Toronto, you know what's crazy? I love the city. Like, despite when it gets cold, that's the only thing. I just love, I love the city. It's on the waterfront. You can't have everything. It's if we beautiful. had good weather, it'd be it'd be game over. So. You think that's it? Yeah. As the Jamaicans are like, uh, yeah, So right, what do you say? Some people not naming who would have, like, be out there wilding out having, like, 20 bay mamas? In the summertime, mm-hmm. guys, we're going off, uh, going off track. <laughs> remember, M- remember, madly right now. <laughs> remember, Nick, remember, Nick Cannon is American. He's not Canadian. <laughs> oh, I met my ex. Oh, <laughs> shots. Cha cha. Who did the drum? I like that drum roll. <laughs> oh uh, gosh. All right. Um, so, what do you guys got for us? Richie? Well, not a lot, oh, by really. The way, gonna, yes? By the way, Richie, mm-hmm. I know we didn't talk about it, but Ritz and I were just talking off air. So, there's this new respiratory virus, and the hospitals are full here with the children. Really? They're actually yes, because get this, and you know anybody in Jamaica listening, buy Tylenol, buy Advil, and I called my friends in the states. Yeah. And my best friend was like, why didn't you tell me this earlier? My kids have the virus. So it's a new respiratory virus. Mm-hmm. It's spreading like crazy. It's called RSV. Mm-hmm. RSV. Mm-hmm. Not to be mistaken with RSVP. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> so uh, it's like high fevers, and it's a respiratory infection kind of virus. Anyways. Mm. Fever. Fever. Yes. <laughs> so if you go on, if I went on Amazon to try and buy some, and... They're like four bottles for two hundred and sixty dollars. Wow. The gouge is real. Right yes. Now. Darn, that's expensive. Wow. Yeah. So any parents out there and but anybody listening, let us know where you found Tano. They're, they're, re- they're, they're reselling it for that much. It's not that much normally. But oh. since right. it's out mm-hmm. everywhere, people are trying to gouge. Yeah, so mm. remember the toilet paper crisis with the with the great uh COVID mm-hmm. remember? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. yeah, it's pretty much like that. Yeah, well, so, we you didn't that. hear about that. Oh, Richie, you know about all of our news. Look at that. <laughs> I tell you, um, this this is new to me, and it's really right. news to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but thanks for that update, and yeah, uh, we yeah. definitely hope that the authorities, the health authorities, get on top of that situation, mm. as we here in Jamaica are trying to get on top of our situation rela- regarding uh, the public transport sector, sector, where yesterday taxi Uh-oh. drivers and bus drivers actually went on strike, some of them. Um, and uh, it is believed that today they're also continuing in some parts of the island that uh, strike action. And so many, many uh, workers and uh, students and so on. Schools have been impacted. Uh, students not be, being able to get to school. Yeah. I think the prime minister, we're standing by to hear him speak. I think he will be speaking to the nation sometime this this morning and uh, we'll be able to uh, see exactly what direction they're going yeah, yeah. the the drivers and and uh, and uh, are asking for wow. an amnesty on tickets that they would have had over a period of time and uh, some amounting to scores of tickets oh, which yes. carry a lot of dollar value and uh, they want some some like some are asking from associations are asking for like three months mm-hmm. uh, for these uh, drivers to pay off these tickets so there's a little bit of a 
uh, situation we're facing here with public transport. But since it's minus one degree in Toronto, we're going to play some music directly out of the Caribbean for all of you in T.O. So here we go. Hit it.